Sometimes you can use some small, simple, relatively inexpensive bits of kit and do something quite spectacular with them. There's a little, oh, there's a little bacteria zipping through across there. Oh, there's another one zipping across there. And what I've got here is a laser pen. You can use this to make a microscope. Um, all you need is a syringe and a liquid. Um, now what I'm going to do is fit my laser pen into a lab stand and try and get the beam of light to go through a droplet of water. Now if the droplet of water forms in the right way, it should make a type of lens because the water has a different refractive index from the air. It should be able to bend water around and act as a kind of lens and we might be able to see something from it. Now what's interesting about this is, is that you can then see through a whole droplet of water to find out what's inside it. So first of all, the laser pen goes into place and then you get a syringe and you put an interesting water into the syringe. What I've got in here is just a tiny little bit of pond water and I've watered that down as well so it's in solution um, and then you need to fiddle around with it to get the pond water to form a really beautiful droplet underneath the syringe. Okay, this is the really fiddly bit. You need to make sure it's going through the bottom, but also that your laser is going to fire through it. I need to turn out all of the lights. It needs to be pretty much pitch black for this to work. So this is almost two meters away, which means the magnification should be about 2,000 times. Okay, light, light off, please. I see a few things floating around. There's a little, oh, there's a little bacteria zipping through across there. Oh, there's another one zipping across there. These, now these might be bacteria. Oh, it is, look. So you can see the little ones. Oh my God, there's a huge one there. Um, sometimes you just got a bit of flow of the water spinning around in the droplet. Sometimes you got the, uh, who knows what that is. That might just be a little bit of um, detritus. Let's take a look at a few different um, little solutions and see, um, see if we can see anything else interesting. Yeah. Okay, let's turn the lights off again. Let's see what we can see. That is quite strange. There seems to be a lot of matter in this already. And this is pure tap water. There do seem to be live bacteria zipping around there as well. But I mean, what's fascinating about this stuff is that there is so much, <laughs> wow, look at that. And there is so much um, stuff in our tap water and you know tap water is pretty pure it's often more pure than spring water pretty cool <laughs> that's quite weird what is that fella it does look like some alien being um okay it's, it's quite interesting um let's try another substance okay let's turn the light back on again okay let's turn those lights off again please now you can see it's very different from the tap water it is absolutely packed full of little particles, absolutely jam-packed. Now this yeast um, we activated, and it's probably died now, but it's left behind loads and loads of these little organisms. Now this is a very, very weak solution, so there's a tiny couple of little grains of yeast um, in a, quite a lot of water. Um, this little murky glass has about four droplets of milk in it, so it's milk in a very, very um, heavy solution um, of water. And um, let's take a look at this, right, let's turn the light off. So what's brilliant about this is that you've got all these tiny, tiny particles that are just floating around inside the milk. And it's the fact that these particles scatter the light and that, that's what makes milk look sort of white and pasty as it does. I think what I love about this is that you just use one tiny little bit of kit and you can do something on a vast scale and you also show the difference between lots of stuff in the world around us. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we've got quite a few others which describe how you can use some brilliant lab kit. Take a look at them and have fun.